everyone, this is uh, Brony Blazefire, and I'm doing a setup for Fallout 4 on the computer. So yeah, you get to join me as I figure out how to turn this on. Um, yeah, that was easy. I'm gonna click here. Uh, reading. Basic skim, looks like. This basic video game. Ooh, warranty. Original purchase, company software. Okay, basic. Hey, I'll probably just return it to GameStop saying, hey, engine, you better copy. Uh, permitted is a fun Oh, wow, that's a big warranty. Um, there, disclaimer. Um, <laughs> Wait. And just so you guys know, I do not own this. I only bought the game to play. I don't have, like... I, like, bought the CD and stuff, but I don't own anything to do with Fallout. I'm just... You know, I'm not laying claim to this. I'm just doing a Let's Play. Because, you know, no one else... This is all in language I don't understand. So, yeah, I accept. Install. But, yeah, um... Maybe when I'm done, I'll send you guys, I'll uh, attach a link to a picture to my gaming station. Um, you'll hear me opening up my snacks, because you can't game without fuel, right? And a lot of people have their own, you know, who's it's and what's it's fix it's, and I have M&M's and a veggie dip tray. Huzzah! Go healthy! Um, yeah. Um, hey! any of you guys watching have any connections to M&M's or any other corporate company that wants uh, someone to... Why did my Steam pop up? Um, okay. Um, I hope I don't have to... do anything. Um, do I have to log in? Um, okay. Uh, logging in. Hmm. Maybe this is just something that popped up on its own because, you know, I haven't logged in forever. I bought the whole access pass thing. Aha! So it is something I had to log into. Okay. What is it asking for? Product code to be added to my Steam library. All right. Let's see. Is it in the? Aha! Game registration code. Okay. Y'all can't take it because it's mine. <laughs> um, maybe I should have caps lock on. Dash. K T. That's on the. Okay. Um, in your case, it should have. If you buy the actual hard copy, um, there will be a case, and um, there is something called the Vault Dweller Survival Guide, Com Condensed Edition, and that's on the very back back of it, along with the warranty information. Cools, um, K T O P I dash seven M A D. Oops, I got none in there. <laughs> Matt. All right, let's see if that works. Next. Activation successful. Your product activation code has successfully been installed. This product or products listed below are not permanently associated with your Steam account. You must uh, log in to this account to have access to the items activated. I hope I don't have to download anything. That's the whole reason why I have the uh, the the CD. Please scroll down to find the Elula that applies to you. What? North America and Latin America. That would be me. Uh, yeah, I've already checked on this. You agree not to exploit the software. I guess that means copy, uh, you know, make copies. Again, here. I'm not making money off of this uh, commercially exploit, so I guess doing this for free works too. Distribute 
t lease, license, sell, rent, or otherwise transfer, transfer the assigned th the software. Okay, yeah, no pirating. Uh, I'm doing a recording on how to set up your Fallout 4 PC game. Uh, yeah, all this stuff looks like your basic no co breaking copyright. Um. So yeah, all customized material created by you are exclusively owned by license. Yeah, all this stuff is owned by them. I mean, I'm okay with them claiming uh, me at my uh, recording here. Heck, I mean, uh, if they want you to as advertising stuff, go right ahead, you know. Uh, I'm not doing any customization because I don't do that stuff. I mean, I'll play it, but I won't do it. I can make it. I don't, I don't do anything. <laughs> I don't do science, the technology stuff. What is this? I think this is a sugar snap pea. I hope it is. Yep, it's a sugar snap pea. I like do you guys the favor of like moving the microwave every time I start chewing on stuff. Oh, say hello, Bulldog. That was Bulldog, my kitty. One of five cats. So yeah, we're now looking at allocating disk space for Fallout 4. Which looks to be basic stuff. No, kitty. Not allowed to have ranch dip. It's not kitty food. Put the back in the trash can behind me. No. Wait, I was saying something about M&M's, wasn't I? Okay, if anyone has <laughs> connections to any sort of, you know, um, company that likes to, that would like some name plugs in exchange for small, uh, small, small, small service fees. <laughs> I do mean small, I mean like a case of cans of drink or whatever, depending on whatever the product is. Um, I will be glad to give name plugs. <laughs> I, I know I'm real kind of shallow that way, but you know, like, M&M's, my gamer's choice snack food. And they give me a free bag of M&M's. Family sized. Which is a whole lot cheaper than anyone else would charge for name plugs. They'll be like, well, you know, standard... Uh, commercial advertisement fees are $75 a second. I'm like, give me a bag of, a family share size bag of M&M's for every episode I mention your M&M's in and we're good. <laughs> you know? Mountain Dew! Gamer's Choice Drink! <laughs> I don't know. I mean, really and truly, I mean like, I always counter all my junk food with healthy stuff. Typically, when I can. Um, uh, about halfway done on the allocating of this space. But yeah, I mean, like, I have two bags of M&M's here. One's the originals and one's, like, the peanut butter filled. Oh, I love peanut butter. And I have a Mountain Dew and a Mountain Dew... Which one is this? Uh, Blast of berry lime flavor yeah that new one that they recently came out with that's advertising Call of Duty and um that's my junk food then somewhere kind of in the middle of the junk food to healthy food is a bag of beef jerky gotta love beef jerky I have to have my protein and then Completely on the healthy side, I have a snack tray full of sugar snap peas, carrots, uh, broccoli, and celery, and tomatoes. And I bought an entire bag of sugar snap peas. Um, you know, big family share size from Walmart. I love sugar snap peas. I'll eat an entire bag all myself in one sitting. Yeah, I'll eat like two or three a day if I could, but unfortunately... That gets expensive. One a day is a little on the expensive side, but it's healthy. I mean, what would you rather do? Save money and lose a couple years on your life by buying junk food instead of healthy food? Or 
spend an extra couple dollars and extend your life.